Happy Friday. Today is Friday. We got to go get our music ready. Yeah. We have to rehearse our music, pick it out, send it to Anna so they can process it and, and get the uh, PowerPoint and everything ready to go. We'll get it all done. How do I look? Does that look good? You look wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't she cute? You can't see her, but she is cute. Hey, I want to talk to you today about something serious only for a certain number of people. And that is people who have heart disease. I want to talk to you about how to cure heart disease every time. Say, oh, Pastor Jim, how can... Hey, I tell people this. God's word works. It works, it works, it works, it works. For you people who are struggling with your finances, listen to me. God's word works. It works, it works, it works. We struggled for years, not no more, because God's word works. Amen. Health problems go away because God's word works. How to cure heart disease. We had a lady in our church. She was, uh, she had to be about 80, she was about 80 years old. And uh, they hadn't come for, to church for a few weeks. And then I get a call from her husband. And he said, can you come up here to the hospital? Dee is dying. I said, whoa. I said, yes, where is she? He told me which unit she was in. She was in the cardiac intensive care. I was up there in 10 minutes. Doesn't take me long to get there. I'll tell you, somebody calls, I go right now. Oh, I was there. I went in. There she is, all stretched out in the bed. He's standing there. And he says, the doctor says she just has a few hours. She's dying. And I looked down at her. She looked up at me. I said, what do you want? I said, are you, are you ready to go? She said, no. No, she says, I want to live. She said, I want to live. She was so weak. I said, in the name of Jesus, command that spirit of death to leave you. I put my hand over top of her, about a foot above her. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command a new heart to be in your chest right now in Jesus' name. I said, okay, folks. Out the door I went. I stayed a couple minutes, but I didn't stay long. Out the door. Well, that was on a Thursday morning. Sunday morning, we're standing in church about 10 minutes or so before we're supposed to start. Boy, here they pull in. They both get out of the car. She walks briskly into the church. Gives me a big hug. I said, what is going on with you? She said, well, after you left, I started feeling better right away. Within an hour, I was out of bed. Doctor came in and said, what are you doing? Get back in that bed. She said, I'm going home. And he said, oh, no, you're not. They, the doctors kept her there all day long, running test after test after test after test on her. Finally, big group of doctors, all cardiologists, came into the room in the evening and said, listen, there is nothing wrong with your heart. You can go home. And she went home. And I haven't seen them for a while. How long has it been, Mary? Probably five years or so. Yeah. Uh, because they moved back up north. But they were doing fine for the several years that they were here after that. Glory to God. Glory to God, huh? He, he, we got her heart disease cured. And I mean, tell you, that was, 
as advanced heart disease as you're ever going to see. We got her done. Praise God, huh? We see stuff like this going on all the time, people. How to cure heart disease. The answer is the power in the name of Jesus. That's the key. These signs shall follow them that have faith in my name. And I do. And we get power in the name of Jesus. Mary is wearing my new hat. She's over by the Christmas tree. Power. In, oh, here she comes. You got to see this. What do you think? I think you look good. <laughs> Mary looks good with hats. Power in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to talk to you about, uh, in order to really believe God for, for, uh, for your heart, you have to understand what causes heart disease. It is always, 99.99% of the time, unless a virus or something gets in there, it is always a generational curse. It's a generational curse that causes heart disease. Now, what I mean by generational curse is, I'll give it to you a different way, that everybody knows, that everybody knows this word, hereditary. Heart disease is hereditary. Always. Almost every time. When somebody has heart disease, especially at a young age, they used to they used to say all the time, and I haven't heard anybody say it for a while, but everybody always said, if your father dies in his 40s of a heart attack, so will you. We had a, uh, a guy in Wisconsin when we were up there years ago. He was, uh, what was he, 32, 33 years old. Had a massive heart attack. Massive heart attack. Come to find out, his dad had died at the age of 30. That's generational curse. That's generational. Well, he was in the intensive care unit, and they were going to transfer him the next day down to this big regional hospital that had a heart program to do surgery on him and try to save his life. And uh, so... When we after we got right right about the time same time we got there, the pastor got there, and that was we were in a different church. We uh, were not pastoring at the time, and uh, he stood there and just prayed, just prayed and asked God for a miracle. And anyway, I kept saying in the waiting room, yeah, in the waiting room, and I kept saying, Lord, because they wouldn't let anybody go in. I said, Lord, get me in there. Just get me in there. So it wasn't very long and a nurse came out and I said, can I go, can we go in and see him? She looked at me and she says, yes. She took us right in. Well, he had already gotten one miracle for his back. So he knew when we showed up that something very well could happen. I stood there and I said, in the name of Jesus, I command a new heart in your chest. In Jesus' name. We left. Because they wouldn't let us be in there too long. They took him down to the regional hospital the next morning. The doctors ran all kinds of tests on him. They said, there's nothing wrong with your heart. It's perfect. Sent him home. That evening, he was playing softball. He got a new heart. Glory to God. Huh? I'm telling you, people, the power in the name of Jesus will break that generational curse of heart disease. And as far as I knew, the, the rest of the time that, that we ever knew him, he never had any more Trouble with his heart, did he, Mary? No. No, he never had any more trouble with his heart. He was fine. He had a new heart. Glory to God. If you know anybody with heart disease, 
or you know anybody with cancer, that's another generational curse. We can help them. We can get them healed. Through the power in the name of Jesus, the first thing we will do when somebody tells me they have heart disease or their heart is bad, I break that generational curse. Once you break that curse, the heart will heal. It'll heal on its own. We just start saying your heart is strong, getting stronger every day. I'm telling you, it d does. Lady right behind me in this room, dying of heart disease five years ago. She's going to get up here in a little bit and go to work this morning because her heart is fine. Perfect. Because we broke that curse. Glory to God. I'll do the same thing with you. It's so simple, yet so important. Huh? Was that good? Yeah. Tell everybody you know who is sick or broke, please get a hold of me. Hey, we got some exciting things going on around here. I'll tell you what. Uh, we got a book that's going to be released uh, probably in a month or six weeks. It's in the final stages of editing right now. It's a book on prayer. It is the most awesome, amazing book on prayer you have ever seen. And it's going, it's going to be available. And uh, we're going we're gonna to give away a bunch of them. We're going to give away a bunch of them. So get ready for this, because that book, that book. Because we want people to know how to pray. Yes, Mary says, because we want people to know how to pray. So that's what we're going to do. Glory to God, huh? Hey, uh, tell all your friends to go out there today and make it a great day. If they're sick or broke, please have them call me. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and Pay your bills. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you right back here again on Monday morning.